Uh, I see you driving there right along the coast. How, how is everything out there right now? Well, Kevin, you said it. Welcome to Blizzard Beach, otherwise known as Hampton Beach. We have just arrived here, and you said it was just 1 p.m. that they reached that uh, criteria of the three hours of the conditions to make this an official blizzard once it's declared on this Saturday in January. And you can see, or maybe you can see, the whiteout conditions right along the shoreline. We're just driving down Route 101. We left Manchester more than uh, an hour and a half ago. It's slow going on 101 out here. You might be able to see from our live camera here every once in a while you do see a person walking in the street. Very dangerous, but people are going slowly and not too many people on the road. We do want to point out that as we approached Hampton a short time ago, we did come across an accident. A pickup truck that had gone off Route 101 in Hampton into the marsh. We have a photograph to show you of that. Hampton firefighters and Hampton uh, police on the scene there were told that the driver is going to be okay. A couple dangerous situations here. One, easy to slip off the road. Two, white out conditions, at times absolutely blinding. So it's not only blinding for the driver who may not be able to see the road anymore, certainly the lines, painted lines are long gone. But if you were to have an accident off the side of the road, someone may not spot you. And that is a really dangerous situation. So that's just one of the reasons why rescue workers are asking you to please stay home. As we come back to our live driving camera here, um, photographer Phil is driving, not his first blizzard rodeo here, folks, but he is going at a very slow pace because we have white out conditions along the seacoast here. You can see when the wind kicks up, we can barely see in front of us and then it'll clear enough to see we have a Hampton police officer to our left we have a pickup truck to our right it looks like someone attending to one of the bathhouses um, though I'm not sure too many people are gonna be having a beach day today the wind has really kicked up in the past few hours we're coming around the corner if you know Hampton Beach to the uh, statue of uh, the woman looking out over the sea uh, nobody around to see her right now and that's good they want people to stay home especially as we approach what's going to be another uh, high tide coming up around nine o'clock tonight but uh, these are small crystals like small snow really blowing so it's hard to believe at times that it is a blizzard or that it's stacking up because it's blowing so much because it's blowing so much and I'd like to tell you what the ocean looks like but I can't see it right now. I just see snow covered sand and not much more. So we are going to plant our cameras here and bring you uh, the scene from Hampton Beach from our sea coast which is having a historic day, uh, a blizzard here today and we'll be bringing the conditions over the next few hours. You stay home and be safe. We'll bring it all to you and uh, let you know how it's going out here. Now back to you in the studio. Uh, you were driving out on 101 and the wind is out of the north, so that wind was basically crossing 101. We're, I know they haven't seen a ton of snow out there as of yet, maybe four inches in spots, but were you seeing a lot of blowing and drifting of that snow? Because that's something we've been talking about, at least as a possibility, just due to the light, fluffy nature of the snow, knowing that you were kind of going across that northerly wind on 101 heading out there. Yeah, and that's exactly right, Kevin. It's almost like the, the small pellets of snow are blowing sideways across the front of the vehicle. We could still see probably at least 100 feet in front of us at times, and, and we saw road crews out there. There was one good lane for a long time that deteriorated as we reached our seacoast area. Uh, where the wind has certainly picked up here and the snow blowing sideways. But yeah, there was that s snowing and, and the drifting. I believe the top speed we probably reached safely was around 40 miles an hour. We kept it below that for most of the time. No cars to be seen, very, very few, uh, which is terrific that this falls on a Saturday with not too many people out. Uh, some road crews out, the plows moving around, trying to shuffle the snow. But as you mentioned, it's, it's blowing so strongly that it piles here and piles there and comes right back onto the roadway, Kevin.